Hello friends, today we will solve the 21st problem of our tutorial series on dynamic programming which is count vowels permutation and we will solve this problem in lead code. So let's go with the problem statement that we are given an integer n. Your task is to count how many strings of length n. So n is an integer, okay? And we have to count how many strings of length n can be formed under the following rules. So the first rule states that the strings can only have the characters as given here, which is a lowercase vowel. For example, A, E, I, O, and U. So these are the five vowel characters which we can use in our string and all are in lowercase. And the other rule states that suppose if I have got a string of length, say two, and the first letter I chose chose is A, so it can be only followed by an E. So the second character after A should always be E. Similarly, if we have got E, then it can be only followed by an A or I. Similarly, we have got rules for others. So for example, for I may not be followed by another I. So it means that after I, we can have A, E, O and U, except I, okay? Similarly for O, it can be only followed by an I or U. And for U, it can be only followed by an A. So because, uh, I mean, uh, here it's given that since the answer may be too large, return it modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Okay, so we have to take care when we solve this problem finally. Uh, so let's go with the example again. So if n is given as, as 1, right? So if only like one length of string is possible to make, so the the maximum number of of this permutation of all the of all the vowels which we can form with only n is equal to one is only five, right? Because we can only choose these characters once, a, e, i, o, and u, and these are the five strings possible if we have got n is equal to one. These are the five unique strings which are possible. So that's why the output is given as five. Similarly, for example, two. I mean, when we have got n is equal to two. So let's see what are the possible strings possible. So if I chose first uh, character as A, let me, okay, no, this is, okay. So if I chose first character as A, it is given that it can be only followed by an E. So that's why we have got one string as AE. Now let's go, if I choose E as my first character, after that, we see that the rule says that it can be only followed by an A or an I. So here we have got E, A and E, I, two strings. Similarly for I, it can be followed by everything except I. So it can be I, A, I, E, I, O and I, U. And for O, it can be followed by an I or U. That's why we have got O, I and O, U. And finally, for U, it can be followed by, only uh, followed by an A. So that's why we have got U, A. So these are all the strings possible considering all this, uh, all the six, yeah, six uh, rules given here. And if we count all these possible strings, this counts corresponds to 10. So this is all about the problem statement. I think it's very clearly explained here as well. And as the number goes higher, I mean, we can have a very large number of uh, uh, possible strings and the output would be very huge. That's why we have given this constraint that it should be a modulo of this huge number. And the constraints, as we can see here, is that from 1 to 2 to the power uh, 2 multiplied by, uh, so it's like around 20,000. Okay, so this was all about the problem statement. In the next video, we will see how to solve this problem using bottom-up dynamic programming approach. See you all in the next video.